little bit of light, please. Great. So there are many ways for us to kind of be thinking about the body, right? So this idea of the corporeal, which has been expounded on so much across history. So for the purpose of today, just for right now, I want all of us in this room to remain present with me. And for just a moment, regardless of what comes to mind when you consider this idea of body, um, to think about the body as an idea. Um, an idea that is cosmic, and in being such is inconceivably vast. We quite literally have only begun to scratch the surface of what the body is, what it can do, and what its future looks like. So what does it mean to ghost on the body? Um, part of the definition of the archetype of the body as we know it, a social construct, a cultural tool, a political agent that I'm drawing on when I think about this idea of glitch feminism, is this notion of giving material form to something abstract. We use the body to give material form to something that has no form, that is abstract, that is indeed inconceivably vast. As a glitch feminist, I want to make abstract again that which has been forced into an uncomfortable and ill-defined material. The process of becoming material is one that is so bound up in problematics, it surfaces a lot of tension when we ask who is given material, and further, who defines this material, who names it, who gives it value, and why. So glitch feminism calls for this. It asks for us to take a look at the deeply flawed society we are all currently implicated by, participating within, to confront the violence this society has done to bodies who choose to disidentify, to bodies who exist within the liminal and embrace the in-between as core component of survival, of futurity, and to seek out opportunity to trigger errors within this flawed system. Glitch feminism embraces the causality of error and turns the gloomy implication of glitch on its ear by acknowledging that an error within a social system that has already been disturbed by economic, racial, social, sexual, and cultural stratification, as well as the imperialist wrecking ball of globalization, these processes that enact violence on all bodies, may not in fact be an error at all, but rather a much needed erratum. This glitch is actually a correction to the machine, and in turn, a positive social departure. Glitch is conjectured in finding its etymological roots in the Yiddish glitch, slippery area, or perhaps German glitchen, to slip, to slide. It is this slip and slide that makes the glitch plausible, a swim in the liminal, a transformation across selfdoms. <laughs> glitch calls for a breaking from the hegemony of a structured system with the pomp and circumstance of patriarchy, one that for all too long has had marginalized bodies and within this done so much violence to female identified bodies in particular, continuing to offend our sensibilities by only giving us a piece of the pie and assuming our satisfaction. 
As glitch feminists, we want to claim for ourselves permanent seats at the table, an empowered means of demarcating space that can be possessed by us in entirety, a veritable room of our own that, despite the strides made via feminist political action, has yet to truly belong to us. Except we don't want just a room, we want the world. <laughs> glitch feminism looks to the digital as a means of building these worlds. It underscores that the binary code of male-female and the code of real life as posited by the language of IRL in real life pitted against the lives we lead online, which are somehow taken as less real, as being too rigid, not allowing for that slip and slide that is a reality of how gender and sexuality, how the cosmic bodies that they occupy exist today, have existed yesterday, and will continue to evolve, survive, and stay alive. The selves we occupy online at night, they're important, they're beautiful, and they're meaningful. So we have to continue to experiment and bloom and build within these selves. Artists play a really key role in this experimentation, acting as a bridge between what happens online and what happens AFK, away from keyboard, and strengthening the loop there. The internet is actually not a fantasy space, it is a future space, a space where glitch feminists can mobilize the imaginary as an activist tool to point toward a futurity that, though still buffering, is en route to being realized. Artists such as E. Jane, Manuel Arturo Abro, and Shawnee Michelin Holloway are doing essential work here. <laughs> First and foremost, I'd like to welcome you to my garage. So these artists are actually creative architects. They're finding ways to stretch the idea of body to its limits, to make it cosmic, to return it to the immaterial, to celebrate its abstraction as a political tool. These artists create new constructs of the body online, and in doing so, they empower themselves, empower others, and ask of us to bring our own cosmic bodies offline out into the world at large. Though their respective practices can be quite different, we see within them the, the plausibility of quite literally becoming one's avatar. The selves we play at and perform as on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Twitter, they are actually blueprints for new bodies, cosmic in their capacity, vast in their virtuality, but also very real. Simone de Beauvoir is famous for positing that one is not born, but rather becomes a woman. The glitch posits one is not born, but rather becomes a body. The digital is actually a vessel through which our becoming realizes itself. So for us in this room, get glitched, become your avatar, and stay cosmic. Puisque chaque événement transforme ma vie quotidienne, puisque 